Hello, how to solve for x in this equation, square root of x, square root of x, and square root of x is equal to 128. We're going to use two methods in this situation, but at the end of the day, we're going to find out which method is the best solution. Let's consider the first method called method 1. Now we have square root of s square root of s square root of s is equal to 128. Then take note of this that if you have square root of y, this is equal to y to the power of 1 over 2. And if you have square root of a, this is equal to a to the power of 1 over 2. Then here we have square root of x, 1, square root of s, 2, and this square root of x, 3. So this can be written as the first s is, the first square root of s is s to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by, this is square root of, square root of this x is s to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by then this is square root of square root of square root of this x we have s to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to 128 don't forget we're going to mention the best method at the end of the whole things. Then this is s to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by, take note of this that if you have a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m n. So this can be written as s to the power of 1 over 2 times 2, that is 4, multiplied by this is s to the power of 1 over 2 times 2, 4 times 2, that is 8, is equal to 128. Now, take note of this, that if you have a to the power of m, multiplied by a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n so this can be written as we have s to the power of here is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 is equal to 128 then here we have S to the power of the SM A is 8, 2 in 8, 4 times 1, that is 4, plus 4 in 8, 2 times 1, that is 2, plus 8 in 8, 1 times 1, that is 1, is equal to 128. Here we have S to the power of 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1, 7, 7 over 8, is equal to 128 can be written as 2 to the power of 7. But we are looking for the value of s. Let's multiply the exponent of both sides by 8 over 7. That is, s to the power of 7 over 8 multiplied by 8 over 7 is equal to 2 to the power of 7 multiplied by 8 over 7. This will cancel this, and this will cancel this. This will cancel this. Then S is equal to 2 to the power of 8. But 2 to the power of 8 is equal to 256. Therefore, 
S is equal to 256. And this is the final answer. Now let's consider the second method called method 2. From the second method, we have this given equation again, square root of x and square root of x and square root of x is equal to 128. Solution. Then here, let's take the square of both sides, that is, square root of x, square root of s, square root of s all square is equal to 128 square this will cancel this then this is s square root of s square root of s is equal to 128 square now let's square both sides of this equation again s square root of s square root of s all square is equal to 128 square all square now this is a square this we cancel this multiply by s then square root of x is equal to 128 to the power of 2 times 2 that is 4 that is, if you have a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m n. Now let's square both sides of this equation again. We have a square multiplied by x, then multiplied by the square root of x all square is equal to 128 to the power of 128 to the power of 4 all square and this is s to the power of 4 multiplied by s square this will cancel this multiply by x is equal to 128 8 to the power of 4 times 2 that is 8 now here we have s to the power of 4 plus 2 plus this is to the power of 1 1 is equal to 128 to the power of 8 and here we have s to the power of 4 plus 2 plus 1 that is 7 is equal to 128 can be written as 2 to the power of 7 to the power of 8 then here we have x to the power of 7 is equal to this can be written as 2 to the power of 7 multiplied by 8 now we are looking for the value of s we can multiply the exponent of both sides by 1 over 7 s to the power of 7 to the power of 1 over 7 is equal to 2 to the power of 7 multiplied by 8 to the power of 1 over 7 this we cancel this this we cancel this s is equal to 2 to the power of 8 then therefore s is equal to 256 this is the final answer we can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong let's check to check we have the given equation square root of s square root of x square root of s is equal to 128 then when s is 256 here we have square root of 256 then square root of 256 
square root of 256 is equal to 128. But we know that 256 is equal to 2 to the power of 8. And this can be written as square root of 2 to the power of 8 square root of 2 to the power of 8 square root of 2 to the power of 8 is equal to 128. Now here, let's consider this. We have square root of 2 to the power of 8 square root of 2 to the power of 8. Then this is multiplied by 2 to the power of 8 to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to 128. The 2 here, 1, 2 here, 4. Then we have square root of 2 to the power of 8, square root of 2 to the power of 8, multiplied by 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 128. Then this is square root of 2 to the power of 8. The square root of 2 to the power of 8 plus 4, that is 12, is equal to 128. Now let's consider this again. A square root of 2 to the power of 8 multiplied by this is 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to 128. 2 here 1, 2 here 6. So this is square root of 2 to the power of 8 multiplied by 2 to the power of 6 must be equal to 128. Then this is square root of 2 to the power of 8 plus 6. 14 must be equal to 128. Now let's operate this. This is 2 to the power of 14 to the power of 1 over 2 must be equal to 128. Then 2 here 1, 2 here 7. We have 2 to the power of 7 must be equal to 128. Eight. And of course, 2 to the power of 7 is 128 is equal to 128, which is true. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like. Which is true. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to mention your best method out of the two methods in the comment section. Thank you. Bye.